Hello guys, welcome back to a civil engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam to find out the support reaction. So we see here that there is internal moment of 10 kN meter acting on the beam and also there is a pointed load of 6 kN and there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter acting on the overhanging portion of the beam. This is the overhanging type of the beam, overhanging beam because one portion of the beam here you see here it is overhanging while this portion of the beam is uh, simply supported. So that's why such type of beam is known as overhanging beam. So now to find out its support direction first we will go through its free body diagram. Let's draw its free body diagram. So it will be like a horizontal line which shows the overhanging beam. And then the support reactions here is has a hinge support so it can take the vertical reaction r a y and it can also take the horizontal reaction because it is a hinge support so hinge support can take two reactions one is horizontal and one is vertical the second one is here is the rotor support this one it can only take the vertical reaction r b rotor support can only take the vertical reaction so it is one time reaction the load acting on the beam is here is 10 kN meter which is the internal moment 6 kN meter 6 kN is a pointed load and there is uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter acting on the beam so we have to multiply 5 kN per meter with the distributed length the distributed length is 4 meter on which it is distributed so 4 meter so it will be cancel meter meter so we will get 20 kN it means that the total pointed load acting on this beam at the mid of this portion is 20 kN it is very important to know how to change the uniformly distributed load into pointed load you multiply it with the length of the distribution so we find out this uh, the free body diagram we will start now with the support reactions so we will use the equilibrium equation let's suppose summation of moment it point a equal to zero you can also take it point b one thing i want to clarify here is that this support reaction is directly equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam okay now i'm going to find out the r a and r b let's make it a bit clear so we have more space here so now summation of moment at point a equal to zero and we will take all the moment about this point so we start that the clockwise moment let's suppose is positive and the anti-clockwise moment let's suppose is negative so we start in this direction going from left to right this you can use in any direction but let's suppose we are going in this direction and we start with the first moment acting on the beam is 10 kN meter this one so it is in clockwise direction you see here there is a clockwise direction so it is positive and then the load 6 kN make the moment about point A also in a clockwise direction so that's why it's again positive moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment arm so force is 6 kN the moment arm is the distance from this point up to A point so this is 2 meter plus 2 meter so it will be 4 meter so this is the moment created by the 6 kN force the other moment that about point A is this reaction rp which we assume in acting in upward direction will also act and create the moment about point a but this one is creating in an anti-clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction is negative so minus rb multiplying with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance always from the load from the point where it is acting to a point where you want to find the moment so this is whole distance this one which is two meter two meter and two meter so total is six meter now the other load that create the moment about point A is this one 5 kN meter which we find out that it is 20 kN basically here acting at the center and so at the center means this is 4 meter so it from here to here will be 2 meter and this also acting downward should so create the moment about point A here in the clockwise direction so again it will be positive so 20 multiplying with the moment arm the moment arm here from the midpoint is 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter so total is 8 meter 
summation of all the moment point a equal to zero so now we will just shift this value to the right side so we will get 6rb and the other value we just multiply 10 and 24 and here 160 so rb comes out to be if we add this and divide by 6 we will get value of 32.33 kilonewton so this is the value of the force acting here if i remove this thing so this is the value here 32.33 kilonewton is the force acting at this point how to find out the ra i mean the support reactions if i remove these lines to make it clear how to find out these at this point ra this one are a y so we have to find this one and for this we can take summation of mo summation of vertical forces equal to zero let's suppose summation of vertical forces equal to zero so and let's suppose upper forces are positive and downward forces are negative now the upper forces and downward forces what are these forces so we know that the r a y assume is upward force so it will be r a y upward positive and then what are the upward forces again the upper forces are b which is acting in upper direction and then the downward forces are 6 kilonewton minus 6 because it is acting in downward direction and downward is assumed is negative and also this force is acting in downward direction minus 20 equal to 0 summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0 so now we know that r b is 32.33 so it will be r a y if we shift this value into the right side here so we will get 26 minus r b or v 26 r b we know that it is 32.33 kilonewton so r a comes out to be it comes out to be minus 6.33 kilonewton now what does this minus sign shows minus sign shows that our assumed direction assume direction which we thought was wrong so we have to change the direction of the force so before it was acting in upper direction this one this one is acting in upper direction now this is negative so we will change the sign and we will make it down and the force value was 6.33 kilonewton so we find out r a y 6.33 rb32 and rax is equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the b so this is the way how to find out the support reactions first to draw the free body diagram and then calculating all the loads on the beam and then trying to do it with the equilibrium equation either summation of movement summation of vertical forces or summation of horizontal forces equal to zero thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you once again.